Hello everyone. And welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain how to make a manual backup of an Active Directory domain controller, in Windows Server 2019. Active Directory is critical to any Windows environment, so it is recommended to perform fully scheduled backups. Backups should be at specific intervals. Active Directory is one of the most important components of any Windows network. When it crashes everything stops, so a backup is a must to protect you from putting your entire organization at risk. So I will explain how to backup Active Directory step by step. And before performing a backup, it must be ensured that there is enough storage space for the backup. I will do the backup on the same hard drive, but in a separate drive. Then I will transfer the backup to an additional hard drive. To avoid the risk of data loss. After that, configure the drive by activating the shadow copy feature, right click on the drive, and click on properties. Then, click on the shadow copies tab. After that, make sure that you specify the drive that you will perform the backup on. Then press the settings button. In the shadow copy settings section, just select the no limit as the maximum size. This option will allow all the space available in the volume for the backup. The next step is installing the Windows Server Backup feature, this feature in performing backup, and restore operations of the Active Directory database. Although many third-party tools help you deliver Active Directory Backup and Restore, the Windows Server Backup feature is easy to use, and is already bundled with Windows Server and most importantly free. Open the Server Manager console. Then go to the Manage tab at the top right, and click Add Roles, and Features. Then click Next. This will open the Add Roles and Features wizard. Select the role-based or feature-based installation, and click Next. On this screen, Windows will show you all available local servers. In this explanation, I only have one server. If you have more than one server, select the one you want, then press the next button. Then click next. The features screen below, you will need to find and select the Windows Server Backup feature, I have this feature installed before. But if you have not installed it, select it and press the install button. After you have finished installing the Windows Server Backup feature, I will do the last step which is how to start making backups of Active Directory. Then, click on Tools at the top of Server Manager, then, click on Windows Server Backup. Once you open Windows Server Backup, you will be able to see your scheduled backups, and the status of your last backup if you did it before. Although you can also create an automatically scheduled backup to run daily or weekly at different hours, but we will explain creating a manual backup. To start a manual database backup, go to Backup Once, in the right window. The Backup Once option will let you configure all the details of your backup, such as backup items and destination. Backup Options select different options. Then press the Next button. On this screen you have two options. As you may have noticed, a full server backup is the recommended option, as it makes a copy of all server data, including applications, and system state. But I will make a backup of the Active Directory only. So select the second option, which is custom, and then press the next button. On this screen we will select items for backup. To view the items, click on the add items button. I will select system state, which is one of the most important components of the operating system. And contains the Active Directory database. After selecting it, press the OK button. Then you will see that the system state item has been added to the backup menu. Then click on the advanced settings button, to configure the volume backup service VSS for the backup item. Then go to VSS settings. The USS Copy Backup makes a full backup but keeps all the application files including the logs on the system. This option is the preferred method for incremental backups, as it does not affect the backup sequence. In other words, it prevents data from being modified while the backup is in progress. 
So, since this is the first backup and we are not using any third-party backup tool, we'll go for the VSS full backup option. Then press the OK button. And press the next button. Then on this screen you will need to select the destination type, it gives you two types of storage either local drive or remote shared folder. I will use the local drive. Then I can move the backup to any external location. And press the next button. Then choose the drive on which the backup process will take place, and press the next button. On this screen again checks that all backup information is set correctly. If you see that everything is ready, click the backup button. It will then immediately start making a backup of the active directory. Backup should take some time depending on the domain controller server size. Wait until the backup is done. Once the backup is completed successfully you can close this window. You can see the status of the backup and the results of its completion from the console. And the console will display a message containing information from this backup such as size, time, and some other information. And you can make sure that the backup is in the drive. You can move this copy to another location or to an external hard drive. I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I will be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.